sure they're taking a lot more precautions now than, than, than originally after the, the, the problem that happened. An SCDOT spokesman says the contractors who were working on painting the Don Holt Bridge are now using a containment system that can be taken down on a daily basis. That is, is probably better. Um, it's probably safer for the people traveling the bridge often. It sounds like it's a much safer alternative than what they had with the tarps strung up there continuously, which seemed like for weeks or months. Engineers for SCDOT and the contractor, Eagle Industrial Painting, are still working on developing a containment system which will be efficient when they paint the upper truss of the bridge. Meanwhile, drivers have noticed a difference this week traveling across the Cooper River. New paint can be seen on portions of the middle side trusses eastbound and westbound. The work is being done during the overnight hours, mostly wrapping up around 6 a.m. based on DOT cameras. It's a balance. You're impeding traffic uh, potentially at a rush hour if you do it early in the day, but the bottom line is the safety. According to a preliminary report from the contractor in July, they expected an extension time of roughly six to eight more weeks. However, at this time, it's unknown when the project will be completed. Everyone would like to see it done, but safety is a primary consideration. If it's slow and safe, I'm okay with that.